The first thing I'm going to show you is how I learned how to knit. And um, to, in order to learn how to do this, I invited my friend Laura Porter over here. And she taught me the basics of knitting and the rest that we couldn't get to in the time she was here, I looked up on the internet and I will put links to those websites at the end of this video. I'd also like to add that everything I'm doing in this video is not in the order that I initially did it when I was learning how to do all these things. Um, they're just what looked best in the video, I guess, so. Um, either way, enjoy what you're watching. I hope you are. So the first thing you need to know about knitting is what you're going to need to accomplish the project. One thing you're going to need is yarn. The other two thing, the next two things are knitting needles. For scarves anyway, you're going to need two. I'm not sure about other projects. Maybe you need three for them. But for this one, you need two. And you also need scissors. So that's simple enough. The second thing that needs to be done is cast on to your knitting needle. And um, I found a way to do this online. And I'm a visual learner, so I looked at pictures to learn how to do this. And um, I don't really know how to say this in words, so just look at the picture and you're probably going to know, at least have an idea of what you're supposed to do. You do not need a second needle to cast on unless you find that, unless you go on the internet and look up how to do it and find a method, which I did find a method to use too, and you find that easier. But for this, the way I'm doing it in this video, you do not need a second needle, so don't even bother with it. If you do cast on the way that I showed in this video, you do need to knit the first stitch. If you do not, the stitch will fall out, will fall off the needle, the needle, and you will be frustrated as I was, because it's never happened before, and I don't know what went wrong that. However, after that, you do not need to knit the first stitch of every row you do. You can just continue on your merry way and just slip it off. So now I'm going to teach you how you would go about knitting a row. First of all, you start out with your knitting, your knitting project, and that's what a project you've been working on for a while, and by now I hope you at least have it down, if you've gotten that far. Um, so you take the right needle, and you put it under the first stitch on your left needle. And when you're done, it should look a little bit like this. Yeah, like that but less cartoony. Now you take the string, that, then that's going to be the one that's attached to your ball of yarn. You're going to take it around the right needle, like so, and you're going to you're going to pull it tight so it looks like another stitch because it will just become a stitch on your right needle. You're going to take the right needle, you're going to put it through the top of the current stitch you are on, you're going to pull the, the yarn up over your left needle, you're going to slip it onto the right needle. And now you're going to repeat that for every row, because you have more than one stitch in your stitching, in your knitting project. So similar to uh, what I said about finding different methods of casting on, I also recommend that you Google search casting off. The reason that I'm not going to show you this is, one, because um, the video is going to be long enough as it is. Two, um, it's a little hard to explain in words, and pictures would probably just be a little complicated, so I recommend you uh, look to the experts for this. I'm not an expert, I'm still learning. The second thing I learned how to do was learn how to hula hoop, and to learn how to do this, I had my friend Avery teach me. Well, I didn't make her do it, but she, she volunteered to teach me how. Claire, if you're watching this, this is for you. So, <laughs> first you have it at your back, right? Alright. And, um, can't wait to bring it up, but you have to hold it like this. Okay. And then you have to hold it like this. Okay. And then you have to hold it like this. Okay. And then you have to hold it like this. Okay. And then you have to hold it like this. Okay. And then you have to hold it like this. Okay. And
remember, either you do like a thrusting motion, <laughs> or you know, put them side to side. But yeah, so you start like that, push. Okay, it's kind of a in between of thrusting. <laughs> but yeah, how you doing? Okay. Now I'm gonna try. Yeah. Go. Is this water? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> She's hula hooping. I'm hula hooping. Now I just gotta keep it up. <laughs> right back in the water. Don't let it drop. If it starts to drop, just do it really quick. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> do you want to try the big one now? I don't know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at her go! What skill! <laughs> Keep going, Megan. <laughs> uh, keep going longer, I think. You could keep going. Maybe. I wonder how long you can go for. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be. What are you doing with your hands? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. You're just like hold them out like hold that. Like that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you make it look so awkward. <laughs> Do you want to try both now? Both of them? It takes a lot of skill to do both. Let's do it. Okay. You totally have got this. <laughs> How do you hold them up? Both of them. It's kind of awkward, but you just kind of go like at once. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you got one! <laughs> don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Don't fall. <laughs> oh God. I, it's not good, though. Remember, remember you're thrusting half. Uh, yeah, see? Look at that thrust. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do it on your legs? Like your knee? Like this? I don't know if my knee can do that. <laughs> you might want the smaller one. What'd you? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> I've never been able to do it. Yeah. Get it going. No. Like, start it off first. Like, keep it up here and then go whoosh. Ah! See, you're doing it! You did it! At the risk of killing you. Yeah. There's a car approaching. <laughs> I think we should count to 200 this time. 200? Maybe 100. Well, how about we try 30? 30? Yeah. Okay, that seems a little more reachable. <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yay! I got this, Avery. 48? Oh, 48? Yeah. 51. Very cool! <laughs> 70, 70 is good. Oh, 71. 71. That was good. Okay. And go! Oh, look at the first time skill! Into a puddle. Oh, and she drops it. That's harder. Do you want to see if you can get all the way down the driveway? Do you want the smaller one? Hmm? you want the smaller one? I don't know. Let's try it. It has not. I wonder if it would. Almost. You can start from there. We're almost there. I think it was like 13. Yeah, that was really good. Because <laughs> then you feel like you're drunk. <laughs> well, that definitely didn't help. Is she gonna make it? Oh, no. So close, though. So. You're so close. If you do it in this one go, you'll get a high five. Yeah. <gasps> high five is in order. High five. <laughs> Good 
hard job. I don't know what else there is to accomplish. Yeah, oh, there is. Oh, there is. You can hula hoop while hopping on one leg. Oh, God. <laughs> Want to go away from the street so you don't die? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you did it. That's good, though. You got it. The third thing I learned how to do was learn how to make tie blankets. And what happened for this, um, my grandma taught me, my grandma Sherry taught me. Uh, Abby, my cousin Abby, my sister, Shannon, and I, we went over to our grandma's house and we decided that was one thing we really wanted to do when we went over there for the weekend. So, um, actually my grandma and my great grandma helped us out, so... Uh, here we go. So the first thing you have to do when making your blanket is pick fabric that you want. You need one with a pattern and one with a solid color. Next, you need to straighten out, match up the corners of the blanket, and then cut off the extra stuff. Um, this ensures that it will be straight, and you won't have some strange anomaly of a blanket when you're done. So once that is all straight, um, you don't necessarily have to pin it down, but it helps. So, um, just pin it down all the way around. Make sure everything is straight. And then, afterwards, you can start cutting all the strips that you will end up tying together to create the blanket. They were very soft blankets. My sister had a lot of fun with them. For my blanket, I picked turtles. And for the back, I just had roughly the same color green as the turtles did. So what you have to do, you have to cut 5-inch strips of the blanket. You have to cut out the corners 5 inches by 5 inches. So afterwards, um, I recruited my grandmother, my great-grandmother, to help me. Um, you tie it all together in square knots, and then you're done. Sweet pea, deep of my soul I know sometimes I'm out of control You're the only reason I keep on coming You're the only reason I keep on coming, yeah You're the only reason I keep on coming